Hi, I'm Lee Teschler, executive editor of Design World magazine. It's certainly no secret that LEDs have become mainstream sources of illumination in everything from street lamps to signage. In fact, this year's Super Bowl was played on a field illuminated by LEDs. But these sorts of uses put LEDs in harm's way for damage from lightning strikes and power line surges. That's why you're now seeing surge protection devices coming out that are optimized for protecting light fixtures and luminaires, particularly those containing LEDs. That brings us to the devices I have in my hands. These are modules that contain varistors configured specifically for keeping overvoltages from harming the power supplies that run the LEDs and other sources of illumination you might find in things like outdoor signs and street lamps. These varistor modules come from little fuse and carry part numbers of LSP05 and LSP10. Before we go into the details, let's review a few basic facts about varistors and how they work. Varistors, of course, are voltage-dependent resistors, so named because their resistance varies with the applied voltage. Their voltage-to-current graph resembles that of a diode, but for both directions of conduction. At low voltage, a varistor has a high electrical resistance and pretty much looks like an open circuit, but its resistance drops substantially as the voltage rises. Varistors are typically used for suppressing voltage surges on AC lines because they stay non-conductive as long as the applied voltage remains well below the rated RMS voltage. The modules we have here contain a type of varistor called an MOV for metal oxide varistor. MOVs are so named because they contain a ceramic composed of zinc oxide and a matrix of other metal oxides that are sandwiched between two metal electrode plates. Now, MOVs can conduct significant power for short durations of up to about 20 microseconds or so. For example, the LSP-10 has a maximum lightning surge current rating of 20,000 amps. The LSP-05 is rated at 10,000 amps. In addition, these devices carry a rating for multiple smaller surge events, the nominal surge current rating. The LSP-10 is rated to 10,000 amps for 15 hits, and the LSP-05 is rated at 5,000 amps for 15 hits. But devices like these can have problems, degrading over time after large surge events or multiple small surge events. Besides short duration surge transients, Long duration overvoltage events may also cause problems on MOVs. Absent of other protective measures, it's possible that the MOV could go into thermal runaway that results in overheating, smoke, or maybe fire. There's an UL standard for surge protective devices on AC lines, and to comply with it, you have to design in some kind of protection to prevent the MOV from failing this way. That protection has traditionally been a thermal fuse or a thermal cutoff device in series with the MOV. And that's basically what Little Fuse did with its varistor modules. You can get these modules for parallel or series connections, and the connection scheme for each case is slightly different. We'll examine the internals of the parallel device first because it's a bit simpler. So if you look at the schematic for the parallel device, you'll see that each module contains three MOVs, one between the hot wire and neutral, one between the neutral and ground, and the third between the hot wire and ground. And there's a thermal disconnect sitting in front of both MOVs connected to the hot wire and in front of the MOV wired between the neutral and ground. The parallel module typically connects across the hot, neutral, and ground leads coming into the LED power supply. But because the MOVs are across the power connections, not in series with them, there's a potential problem. Suppose there's a massive current surge and one of the thermal disconnects open. In that case, of course, you've lost surge protection because at least one of the MOVs has been disconnected. But with a basic three-leaded varistor module, there may be no outward indication that this has happened. So unless you disconnect the module and check it, you won't know that you've lost your surge protection. That's why some varistor modules include three additional terminals for connecting an LED indicator light. The light can be hooked up to indicate either that the surge module is still functioning or hasn't died, or that the module has been zapped and is no longer protecting against surges. 
A similar idea lets the varistor module be wired in series with the LED power supply. At modules designed to be wired in series, the hot wire and neutral are brought out to serve as connections to the luminaire power supply. Here you don't need an additional LED to indicate the health of the varistor module. In this case, there's a thermal fuse in series with each of the two power leads coming into the luminaire power supply. So it's obvious if one of them blows, the whole luminaire goes offline. Now there's a lot more to these modules than we've covered in this short video. To learn more about how the LSP05 and LSP10 can simplify your next LED lighting design project, download the LED lighting SPD module design and installation guide, available free from Little Fuse Speed to Design.